Hi, it's Ollie from Cross Platform Gaming and welcome to a brand new little mini series that's found its way onto the channel. Very topical. We're going to be playing UEFA Euro 2020 and well, in 2021, and we're going to be answering the question that's on everyone's lips in the nation at the moment. Can England win the European Championships? <laughs> No, they cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that at the end of the intro. So it's like <laughs> the intro, XPL intro will come in and then the answer will there be there right away. So that's the end of the video. Yeah. Thank you for joining. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's a new thing. England in the Euros. Dan and I, as you've just heard, he's here. We're going to be playing co-op together and not on FIFA, on PES 2021 because the new licensed update for UEFA Euro 2020 is now live as of, uh, I believe it was the 4th of June it came on. Um, so they've got all the licenses. You'll see later on there's new video packages and things like that. All the licenses from what I can see are there for the kits and the players and everything. Um, so this really is the best way to experience um, the European Championships on console and PC. So it's probably the best way to go forward. However, disclaimer with all of that, we are definitely FIFA players, definitely not PES players, so we may not even get past the group stages, but let's hope we can bring it home and football is definitely coming home for England. Let's have a quick look at what we've done with the squads. So, the squad as of time of recording has been announced with the 26-man squad, but Trent has had to drop out because of the injury received in the Austria game. Um, so it only lets us do 23 here. So what we've done is we've taken Trent out and we've taken the two backup goalkeepers out, unfortunately, because it's probably the least likely that we'll need them. So Pickford's the number one with no backups. Let's hope he doesn't go down. But the rest of the squad we've added in is as the same as it is in real life because it starts off with people like Danny Rose in the side and that makes no sense to me whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> I do think that Mason Mount probably shouldn't be playing right back <laughs> for us. Yeah. Um, but I am going to switch up the formations and change up the team, discuss with Dan for a bit of how we think we're going to be taking on Croatia in our first group game, and then we will come back to you. Okay, so we've had a discussion. Well, I say we've had a discussion. I've told Dan what I want, <laughs> and Dan's had to relent. This is how we're going to line up against Croatia in our first group game of the Euro 2020 competition. This is how, I mean, you can tell me I'm wrong in the comments. I'm sure a lot of you will. But this is how I think we should line up in the real group game um, on Sunday. Pez doesn't exactly agree. You've got Kyle Walker down there as a 70 because obviously he is a right back. But he's played on the right side of a, of a central three before. And I think he can do a job there. He's got pace as well. So people shouldn't get in behind too much. Um, without Trent, I think Rhys James is probably our best option at right back. So he starts. Um, Foden, I'd probably have out wide. But... He can do a job in the middle and it gives us a space for Sancho. I don't necessarily think Sancho should probably start. Maybe Foden up there, but um, he's probably better in the middle here. Mount, of course, starts after the heroics in the Champions League final. I've gone for Chilwell over Shaw. Um, I had a bit of comeback from Dan. He thought that Henderson should start, but I want to try and keep it realistic. Henderson obviously isn't going to be starting for the group game because he's carrying that knock. So I've stuck him on the bench. And there was a shout for Marcus Rashford from Dan. And now I will pass to Dan because he will be a lot more, <laughs> uh, what's the word? A lot more aggressive, let's say, with the argument than I will be. Because I'm not really thinking Marcus should be a starter. I think it'd be good with his pace off the bench, but perhaps not a starter. But go on, Dan. Why should Marcus Rashford be starting? Because I'm a Man United fan and he's my boy. <laughs> Right. Um, but no, he's he's <laughs> no he's argument. good. He's reliable. He's quick, and he can finish. Not too so. sure he was reliable in the Europa League final, but you know we'll look past that. <laughs> um, I think another one for good pace off the bench, Sterling, who's 88 rated on this, is probably unreal on this game. Um, but I'm starting Jack Grealish because Jack Grealish is, in my opinion, probably the best player that we've got other than Phil Foden because I think he's great. However, I'd just like to add. Now you've said that you're a Man United fan. I'm a Northampton Town fan, so my allegiances aren't too bad here. <laughs> I think I'm neutral so I can make good decisions. Calvert-Lewin used to play for us. Kyle Walker used to play for us. But 
they're on loan. They were never ours, so I think we're good. Right, that is the perfect starting lineup, I believe. So let's take on. Says the... Dictator Snow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> let's take on the World Cup finalist Croatia, who beat us in a friendly game, but then we got our own back in the Nations League. Let's see if they can get their own back here. I was going to say I doubt they will, but we've played a tune-up game against Andorra and it was a nil-nil draw. <laughs> <laughs> so this may be the shortest series potentially it's ever been on on YouTube because <laughs> it could be just one episode where we lose so heavily to Croatia that we're never getting out of the group stages. Oh, look at that. It's got all the official... Um, what's the word? Signage? Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> I was going to say pullovers. What the hell is... That's a jumper. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm so excited for the Euros to kick off, though. When these guys actually walk out for this game, IRL, on Sunday at 2 o'clock. Oh, mate. My heart's going to be pumping. Oh, it's got all the stuff in the stadium with like Munich and stuff, even though this isn't where it's going to go. It's going to be in Wembley, but it's got it. Oh, mate, they've done a really good job here. And it's Pez, and I'm a FIFA guy, but they've done a good job. But um, we've turned off, obviously, the stadium sounds and the commentary because we don't want to get copyright struck, of course. And so all we can see now is Croatian people randomly moving their mouths with nothing coming out whatsoever well, also they're all moving their mouths differently it's not the same action so they're not even saying the same words at the same time <laughs> no. one guy's getting down to AJ Tracy one guy's getting down to the Croatian national anthem <laughs> although the man that was just on screen there Luka Modric he is definitely someone we need to be trying yeah. to stifle because he's their main centre point yeah, there's the I boys mean, there's I, I'm not massively into football uh, uh, nowhere near as much as you are anyway Jamie but Sanchez goes who... eyes closed <laughs> Even I know who Luka Modric is, so yeah. yeah. And I have I've just realised as well that I said all that stuff about putting Jordan Henderson on the bench, and we've started Harry Maguire, who's not even going to be available for any of the group games. So we're half <laughs> half realism, half <laughs> we need to at least try and get a decent result here. We've got to get out of these groups, and we've got to bring it home for England if we can. I'm just going to try my best. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Grealish is going to be the star of the tournament. I want Drew Bellingham to get some minutes as well. 17 years old and he's already looks elite. There's our lineup again. And how are the Croatians lining up? Dejan Lovren. Well known name to fans of the Premier League, former Liverpool player. Got Ivan Rakitic there as well in the middle with Luka Modric. Saw Rebic there as well. So it's a very, very strong Croatian side. I don't know if they're quite at the heights they were when they reached the 2018 World Cup final in Russia. But we shall see. Harry Kane kicks us off for the start of our Euro 2020 campaign. How are you feeling, Dan? Are the nerves there? Uh, I mean, I've got low hopes, to be honest, so. <laughs> Searching for Harry Kane. Uh, oh, it sit probably, down. It probably, oh, <laughs> it probably helps if we explain. So, Snow is the blue player and I'm the red oh, player. Yeah. yeah. Already trying to hold up player Harry Kane. Let's hope he doesn't go as deep as he goes in real life and we've got people in the box for us. <laughs> Uh, as a reminder again, I know we've mentioned it, we are FIFA players, so the defending isn't quite there because it's a little bit different. <laughs> so you might see some calamitous errors from Maguire, Stones and Co. But you probably see that in real life, so it's realistic. <laughs> Didn't know what you mean. Whoa, did you see what happened to his leg? <laughs> First shot off from Croatia, easy for Pickford, right down his throat. Let's get that down the wing. 
Great it feels really like perfect. James doesn't have any pace, so. Nice and man just, in the middle. Just FYI. Chile, Jack Grealish. Is he going to draw a foul like he always does? No, he's going to give it right <laughs> to one of the best players in the world. It's fine. You don't need to worry. Oh, look at the space. Let's press, press. Go yeah. on, Phil Foden. The bright spark. Grealish is on it again. Looking for a run there from Jaden oh. Sancho. Christ. You can tell we're FIFA players. I know. <laughs> if we lose the first group game. Just want to say, I, I, that's what I predicted. <laughs> Phil Foden's a tough tackling midfielder now. Plays his way out of trouble. Right to Reese James. Oh. To be honest, this feels like watching real life England play. Yeah, it's not looking great. Come on, run. Jesus. No pace in the back. Kyle Walker was on about pace before. There's nowhere to be seen. Maybe it's because he's Stones. playing out of position. Yeah, I feel like the game might penalise him a bit, but I want it to be a little bit realistic. Track really setting off Chile. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm expecting FIFA controls. <laughs> Talking of FIFA, whilst we're trying to stop Croatia from attacking, did you want to... Oh, wait, no, hold that thought. Get it away. I think I know what Catch you're going to say, but I agree. <laughs> <laughs> did you want to let the guys know what we've got in store? I mean, it's quite a while to, a way to go, but did you want to let them know what we've got in store for FIFA 22? Which will be sort of September trial time? Run here. Uh, yeah, end of September, October. Yeah. We'll so get it early, though, because of EA play and everything, so September. Yeah. So um, we do have... A, a, I guess it's a, a series that we're going to be working on uh, when the new FIFA game comes out and it's going to be like a co-op manager um, so we'll, we'll pick a, a random team I guess and just kind of go from there and build up the team, see what we can do in terms of uh, what sort of team we can build uh, and see where it goes and then off the back of that oh, there was Sancho's uh, robbed it, Harry Kane what oh, did you what? shoot? Oh, thank God that <laughs> went in from the boy Jackie Grealish. Hang on, oh, I, think, I think my controls are messed up. Oh, well, they've I pressed shoot. controls. Yeah, I think so. We'll change that in a sec, but I nearly came and found you in your home then. <laughs> Great pressing from Sancho, and what turned into a brilliant unselfish assist from Harry Kane. <laughs> Which is Lovely not at all finish. realistic. No. Although, he's the highest in the Premier League for the last season for assists as well as goals. Great composure shown from Jack Grealish there. His first international goal. And boy, doesn't he deserve it. What a man he is. Right. Okay, so, yeah. I, I think I would have scored if it was uh, set to alternate. But never mind. We scored anyway. We've got a goal. Yeah, it's fine. Jack Grealish was there to save England's blushes. England won. Croatian nil. First group game off to a flyer. Let's get that trophy. Let's take it home. Yes, Phil Foden is so good in centre mid. He's a defensive midfielder nowadays. He can do everything, that boy. Sancho's found a bit of space. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. Poor cross from me. Go on, England. Yes, Grealish, well in. The whole auto-switching thing is not particularly great. It's a lot different to FIFA, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't even feel like the Ooh, same chilly. kind of game. Sancho, oh! Right, I'm going to whip it. Not quite there, but I've done it anyway. Oh, oh. Come on. we're a better team. Croatia are a strong side. We've been promising, I think. How close was this? Oh, yeah. not far. Not too bad. Not too bad. Look, I love the overlay and everything. How it's got all the proper stuff up. This is what it's going to look like on the telly. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, it's done for no reason. I think I'm uh, agreeing with what you were saying about Reese James. He's not feeling too great. Maybe as co-managers of England, we might have to make a decision in the next game and see if we've got uh, someone else that might go there, like maybe Kieran Trippi or someone like that. Yeah, I think so. Grealish. There is James. 
Can he prove us wrong? He needs his updated hair. He's got new hair now. He looks so much better. <laughs> Grealish plays Mount. Half time. 1-0. It's looking we'll good. Take that. That's another thing I'd say though. It seems to be a lot more on Pez. Like well on FIFA when you pass to your, pass to someone else it's the other player. But on Pez it seems to be a lot more often where you pass to yourself and it's still you. And I can't get yeah. used to it. It is a bit strange. Alright, players are back out. Second half. 1-0 England. Can we maintain the lead and get an all-important first three points on the board? Oh, the referee got him away. Yeah, drop ball. Yeah, oh. I thought this was going to be what the video is going to be. Just noises. <laughs> <laughs> One slide. Oh, we've got some crowd music. Yeah. Well, music. Crowd noise. Come on. Jeez. Yes, James. First thing you've done right all game. Yeah. Jesus, they're pressuring at the start of this half. Well, they're desperate to get back, aren't they? Because they're 1-0 down. Well in. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, Probably our weakest area at centre half. Quali oh. Quality fullbacks, but the centre halves maybe not as good as the rest of the team. Oh, God, they're playing around us at the minute. Nice. Nah. Slavid's going to carry it out of defence like he does for United. Sancho with pace to burn down the right hand side. Jeez. Oh, Crowd aren't liking that. Saying the ref should have called, blowing the whistle. Play on as we are. I'd have to agree with them, to be honest. Thought thought that should have been ours. England struggling to get the ball off Croatia in the second half early on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kyle Walker. Well in, Kyle. Yeah. Phil Foden. The new Patrick Vieira. <laughs> Grealish finds Chile. Heavy touch oh, from Chile. Come on. Rabich has robbed it. Come on, Jack. They're playing with us. Still one up. Oh, God, I should have got that. Chile's got there. And tackle. Slavid's tackle. What are they doing? Him. Dancing around What's going on? Oh, God. Caught with that pants down. Oh. Nah, no, we're okay, we're okay. Petkovic's oh. shot goes wild. Wild? Wide! <laughs> <laughs> How close was this? Was Pickford right? Yeah, that was fine. Pickford would like to see that go. Pickford's no Sam Johnston, though, is he? Oh, he's done really good. Yeah, we're recording on the day that England played Romania. Lovely double save from Sam Johnston in his first ever international cap. Kane nods it down. He's come deep, as I said he would. Nice little oh, ball look out. At that beautiful down the but wing. it's Reese James. He's kept control of the ball. Speculative oh, effort there from Phil Foden. Yeah, he's going for a cheeky little one. Mount finds Jackie Grigri. Chile. Balling from Chile. Oh. oh, no one on to finish Evaded it. Evaded everyone in the box. Foden's with him again. Tenacity on the young Phil Foden today. Look at him <laughs> pressing. He's going to be knackered. Rhys James good in the air. So far. Yeah. Go on, go on. Keep running. Modric's oh, bullying God. Phil there. I, the, the, the off the ball controls are quite shocking, I'll be honest. Like with, with FIFA, you get quite a lot of off the ball control. It, this feels very arcadey. Like I know that's something I mentioned to you in our little warm-up match. Yeah, but it's that different that I can see why other people might prefer it to FIFA. But we're definitely more FIFA way. But I'm not going to think against Pez. I think it's a healthy alternative. Oh. Go on, Jack. Maisie run. Oh, that that wasn't a shot. Let's take the corner. But well, I mean, it was a shot, but it, it was good defended. That's a weird way of doing subs. I think that we should make a change. So. Agreed. We've got a few players that have run themselves ragged. I, I think we need to focus on defence, to be honest. Shore it up, make sure we maintain that lead, yeah? Yeah, I, I think we need to get rid of James. Yeah, let's let's audition Let, Trippier. Let's swap, swap him for... Well, I was going to say, yeah, let's swap him for someone who's actually a, um, a right-back as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Let's audition Trippier to maybe start the next uh, group game against Scotland. 
Um, yep. Anywhere else? Should we bring Jordan Henderson in? Uh, who are you thinking of swapping him for, though? I've not seen too much out of Mason Mount. I think Henderson coming in and shouting on the pitch and barking the orders and stuff is what we need. Keep his like, experienced head, keep the youngsters' heads up. So I would vote for that change. Yeah, okay. And then, I could. I, I mean, if you're asking me, I mean, I would also think about getting Rashford on. Or Sterling. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd go with Sterling, maybe. Well, a bit of pace. Um, I was going to say, do you want to keep one spare just in case, or do you want to do all three subs now? I don't mind. Uh, I think we do all three subs. All right, I'll let you choose Rashford or Sterling. Uh, it depends where we're going to put him. Uh, uh, who are we taking off? Do you want to get rid of Grealish? Grealish? I haven't seen too much out of Sancho. I'll probably say Sancho. Yeah, I love okay. Grealish. And Grealish has been good. In that case, I would say Sterling. Oh, the United fans hate him now. They loved him at the start. Damn pain. Yeah. He's gone against them. Well, the only reason being Rashford's better on his left, so. Oh, I thought we were going to get a nice little cutscene then, but obviously not. Again, we've got, like we had in the first game off camera, we've got smoke coming out of the mouths of players, even though it seems like it's alright weather to me, but whatever. <laughs> right. Let's see if we can work out corners on this game. If I go like that and then try and swing it, will it do an outswinger? Oh, yeah, it does. Relish! Oh! On target. I would just like to say for anybody watching that back, um, my player, uh, well, Relish. Um, was actually shoved and just glided across the floor. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. He's got his skates on. Perhaps it is cold. It's the ice room. <laughs> or it's just a buggy game. But who knows? It's not a game, it's real life. We're, oh, watching, right. the te we're watching the telly at the minute. Is that so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well in, Maguire. Sterling's just come on. Don't know how to do tricks on this game. Oh! oh. He knows how to take it in the face, though. <laughs> okay, and Grealish oh, combining. Try to keep it on. I sit still on. I'll tackle oh, you. come on. <laughs> <laughs> Raheem is now Croatian. <laughs> they can play around at the back. I'm cool with that. I'm just going to let them do anything else. We should have had that. We should have had that. Right. It's a good job they're impotent up top. <laughs> we've let them in a few too many times. If we like get through this group and we've got someone like France or something, they're going to punish yeah. us if we do that to them. Yeah. Not to true. take anything away from Croatia, but come on. <laughs> they need they need to have finished a couple of chances they've had today. Cam Wrangler, that is debatable. <laughs> All right, with a bit of a lull in the game there. Mm. Coming up to the 90th. I say all people are going to be able to hear from my side of the microphone <laughs> is just the clicking because mm. I'm trying to trying to switch players to make it sure I'm like someone who's actively in the game <laughs> it's like pinball at the last bit here but I think we've got the points here yeah, blow ref so. yes I'll also take that clean sheet king trophy you can see that <laughs> I don't play Pez often because I've just got that oh you got the trophy as well uh, I didn't because nothing's popped up on my end. <laughs> oh, it came up saying it came up saying me, and then it came up saying visitor for the same trophy. Oh, okay. And play that's local weird, match. Ah, oh. well, at least you got some trophies. Oh, it must be visitor that's on, but on my account still visitor on my PlayStation Five, I guess. Yeah. Right then, that was a perfect start to the campaign. <laughs> was it? <laughs> One nil. Didn't concede. Kept a clean sheet. We got the three points. Ben Chilwell played a 4.5. Great start from him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Luke Shaw comes into the next game. But that... Uh, let, let's just also have a look at Rhys James. <laughs> uh, individual match records, I guess. Rhys James, 5.0. Wasn't the worst on the pitch, according to the stat man. <laughs> it should have been. Should have been a 4.5, not looking good. 
So that's where we leave it. 1-0 win, three points. Top in the group, we assume, at the minute. We haven't seen the uh, the Scotland-Czech Republic result, but I'm sure we will soon. But that's the end of today's episode. We hope you like it. We hope you like the new idea that we've brought to it. Let's see if finally, for the first time since 1966, England can lift a major international trophy aloft and let's bring it home. Dan, they can't. anything from you? Okay, so yeah. Dan, Dan, no, look. <laughs> We need to be optimistic and we need to... We're the co-managers of England. We can't be getting the boys back in the dressing room. I'm going to them, can we do it? And everyone's going, yeah. And you're in the back going, no, no, we can't do it. No, no, no. You paid a wage here. You need to... <laughs> need to instill values in the boys. But... Uh, do I think we can do it? Absolutely. Do I think it's going to be this England squad? Meh, maybe not. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> it's just what they need to hear. Yeah, but that brings us to the end of the episode. So, as I was saying, thank you very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the new concept. Leave us some comments. Tell us what you think we might need to do better or what you're thinking of it. Subscribe to make sure you're catching us on every leg of the journey. And from Dan and I, please stay safe.